everybody, it's Cody Sevens. Words today we're gonna make a terrarium. A terrarium is a jar, a glass jar that has its own water cycle and has a lot of plants. Because of the water cycle and all the other things you put in it, all the moss and all the plants, it can make itself stay alive for a long time. And you don't have to do anything with it. You don't even have to water it. So I'm going to show you how to make a terrarium from things from your own house in your own backyard that will cost zero dollars. So we're going to go find some plants and some rocks and anything you can use in the terrarium. So let's go. So I'm looking for some moss right now. Over here you want to find a bunch of moss. Get some of that out. And so I just found some moss that I'm just gonna dig up in my backyard. Right there. I'm just gonna get some of this. Some loose. Then I'll go over here. Maybe I And then, so here's some star moss that I found. It got out of the tree. Here's another moss that I found. But you could use any kind of moss you want. Maybe pine cones. Pine cones might be good. So I just found a pine cone, and I might be able to like put the moss around it, and then like bury a little in the ground so it looks like it's been there for a while because a lot of plants look like that so see what else i can go find maybe some little sticks so so i got these and i'm just gonna go to my backyard and see if i can find them so now we're gonna go get some dirt from the yard and you just don't want any plain dirt, just like the dirt you used to in your garden. You want more roots and like sticks and leaves in your dirt. So we're going to go find some of this. Kind of like this, just not with so big roots. And you want dark dirt like this. So that's right here. Then, now we're going to go get some rocks over by the road where we found them all because we don't have that many rocks in our yard. So you don't need any huge, small Pacific rocks. You just need rocks like this. Medium-sized rocks. doesn't matter. They don't have to be huge or any kind of color or whatever. We need the rocks at the very, very bottom of the cage so we can, so the plants have a drainage so they can use the water and they can use it again and again and again over and over so they can keep growing. Now we're going to go find something called hardscape that we can use to make a cage look realistic and very normal so we're gonna go find some of that in just our yard there's a good piece right here this is what your hardscape can look like see so a centipede and some bugs in there and once we put this in our terrarium all these bugs in this piece of wood will have all they need so they can stay alive for a very long time. So let's go and build our terrarium. Now we've collected everything we need from the yard. Now I'm gonna show you a few, a few things you need to get from your house. First, you need some sort of jar. You could use like a pickle, an old pickle jar or a big spaghetti sauce jar that's empty. Then you just need some plastic cut out piece to put on the top and some type of string to put over it to keep it on. 
now you're gonna need some sort of screen. This is just a screen out of our uh, window screen that my dad let me cut out. We're gonna put it in the middle of the rocks and the dirt so it makes it so the water can drain through into the rocks like I told you about. And so all the dirt and stuff doesn't come through with it. And now you're gonna need another small jar. Doesn't matter if it's it has the sticker or whatever it had on it. This one's just an empty peanut butter jar to, to put your rocks in and rinse them off because you want it clean. And now we're gonna show you how to rinse the rocks. First, you can need to screw the lid off the jar, put all your rocks in. Just don't break the jar and make sure that you need Daddy, a lot of for this what? activity. Put them in and get it good. And now you're going to need your hose and your jar. You're just going to put that right here. Go ahead and turn your hose on. And then you're just going to get the Jar full, overflow it so it gets all the rocks and that out. It's gonna do that. And then I'm gonna get the lid on. Pull it off. And the jar. Lid on. Do that up a little bit. Now we got all the dirt off the stuff. I can't open the jar. Now we have all the gunk coming out of the rocks. Like that. I'm gonna drain my water out. So I got my rock so clean. Now we're ready to put the whole terrarium together. Moss a little bag. There's not too much water in it. And we'll just start putting the moss in there.
now we have all day to rain. And I got it here. I'm gonna get a piece of plastic string. should have the green stuff in there that it'll provide some blocks in there. Then, once you get your screen on up here and fix the terrain, you need a rock right here so all the water will come up to the rock and get on, on the top and drain down. And it'll literally rain itself. So, Here's my terrarium. Got a lot of moss in there. You can see that I got all the rocks and the screen a little down there. Then got my chunk of wood with the moss going up here, and that's how you make a terrarium. Bye. Oh, and I almost forgot. You gotta clean up your mess so your parents can keep letting you do fun stuff.